Well, good morning. How's everybody doing? I'm going to tell you what's that. Gates, how you doing, buddy? You doing all right? Do I have good Christmases? Yeah. How about New Year's? Huh? Happy New Year. That's right. It is a new year. It is a new year. Mr. Baker, how you doing? You having fun? Yeah. Well, hey, guys. How y'all doing? Hey. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, good morning. How's everybody doing? So I need some help with uh, some things. So in my office, I have this. What, what does this remind you of? It's a tennis ball, but what does it remind you of? Uh, ping, well, kind of like ping pong. Like your mom? <laughs> this reminds you of your mom? How does this remind you? Your mom plays tennis. Right, okay. Well, I think, I think this, maybe a dog got a hold of this one. Or there's been a lot of tennis played with this tennis ball. But when you see a tennis ball, it reminds you of the game of tennis, doesn't it? Sometimes. How about this? The best game ever. Golf. golf that's exactly right. So when you see a golf ball, what's that say? What's that? No. No. It kind of, it says Rev and then Doctor. So if you find this on the golf course, this is it. You'll know that it's my golf ball. And trust me, you'll find a number of them on the golf course. But when you see this, this is a golf ball, but it reminds me of the game of golf. So it didn't make sense? Well, maybe this will make sense. So, Mims, what is this? Look, what is this? This is what? Well, it's like a giant cup, right? Well, it's almost like a trophy. So this is a chalice. And you know where we use a chalice in the church? Uh, for baptism? Well, well, sometimes we might use something like this for baptism. But there's another thing that we use this for. It's called communion. And so what goes in here is the juice. Now, I don't have any juice in this one. And you know what the juice is a symbol of? It's a symbol of Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. What that really means is that it's a symbol for forgiveness. So in a few moments, we're going to take communion. And in communion, there are two things. Yeah, we have bread, and that's a symbol of the body of Christ. And this is a symbol for the blood of Christ. But in Jesus, we have wholeness, we have salvation, and we have forgiveness. So we see these things all around the church. Maybe not a tennis ball or, or a golf ball, but you definitely see a chalice. And whenever you see a chalice in the church, it stands for forgiveness. And that's what we give things... <laughs> well, I promise you it'll make sense as you get older. That I, I'm sure of. <laughs> but maybe, well, let's, let's pray. Can you pray. Can you join my hand? You want to hold my hand? You don't want to? Okay. All right, well, let's pray. You ready? Oh, God, we give thanks for your love and your mercy. We give thanks for uh, who we are in Jesus Christ. We also give thanks for what you do for us. Uh, and so we pray, Lord, that you would receive all glory and honor, particularly for your, the, the sacrifice that you gave for our wholeness. And for that, we are grateful. Bless these who sit with me, watch over them, keep them safe. What we pray every day, Lord, is that as they grow in every way imaginable, that they would also grow knowing of your deep love for them. Guide them and direct us, use us in that process. Bless them, we pray in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs> 